Did you know that there is a way for you to see the entire world at a glance? Is it surprising? Yes, we can with the help of a globe. One can see the entire earth at a glance. Not just the continents and the oceans. You can even see the different lines of latitudes and longitudes on the globe. But what is this globe and what are that latitudes and longitudes? Come, let's simplify these terms. We know a globe is a true model of the earth in a very compact form. In a globe, there is a needle is called axis. This axis of the globe passes through two extreme points known as poles, North Pole and South Pole. The axis is shown in the form of a needle on globe. In reality, our Earth has no such axis. Equator is a circle passing through the center of the Earth. It is perpendicular to the axis and goes on to divide the Earth into two hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. There are a number of circles parallel to the equator. These circles have their center on the axis. Such circles are known as the parallels of latitudes. We can identify these parallel lines using degrees. On the equator, the latitude is in zero degree. Prime Meridian There is a circle which passes through Greenwich in Britain. It is perpendicular to the equator and parallel to the axis. It is known as the Prime Meridian. Prime Meridian divides the Earth into two hemispheres, the Eastern and the Western. Together, the equator and prime meridian divide the earth into four equal parts. There are number of circles parallel to the prime meridian. Unlike latitudes, these lines are not parallel but meet one another at the poles. All meridians are equal in length. These lines are known as the degrees of longitude. In the northern hemisphere, the latitudes are designated as degrees north. For instance, 10 degree north, 20 degree north and so on till 90 degree north which is the north pole. Similarly, there are latitudes in the southern hemisphere. These are designated as degrees south. Degrees south as 90 degrees, 80 degrees. Like the longitudes are identified with the help of degrees. Prime meridian represents the zero degree of longitude. In the Eastern Hemisphere, the longitude are designated as degrees east, that is 10 degree east, 20 degree east and so on till 180 degree. Same with the case with the Western Hemisphere. Further, the degrees are divided into minutes, minutes into seconds. What is the importance of these imaginary lines? These two points on earth can lie at the same point on earth but still it is far away from one another. Also 
two different points may lie on the same longitude but only one point lies on a particular pair of latitude and longitude so latitudes and longitudes are helpful in locating a point or a place on earth the arctic circle and the tropic of cancer are the special latitude in the northern hemisphere they are situated at 66.5 degree north and 23.5 degree north respectively on the other hand the antarctic circle and the tropic of capricorn are the special latitudes in the southern hemisphere they are situated 66.5 degree south and 23.5 degree south respectively there are heat zones on our earth the area between tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn receives the maximum heat from the sun this region is known as the torrid zone the area between the arctic circle and the tropic of cancer in the northern hemisphere and the area between antarctic circle and the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere have moderate temperature these regions are called as temperate zones At last meridians of longitude the semi circles running from pole to pole or from north to south are known as meridians of longitude and distance between them is measured in degrees of longitude greenwich meridian or prime meridian with a value of 0 degree longitude serves as a common base for numbering meridians of longitude lying on either side of it east as well as west there are 360 meridians including the prime meridian each degree of longitude is divided into 60 equal parts each part is called a minute each minute is again divided into 60 equal parts each part being called as a second what is a local time a local time of any place is 12 noon when the sun is exactly overhead it will vary from the greenwich time at the rate of 4 minutes for each degree of longitude now what is a standard time it is a uniform time fixed by each country it is fixed in the relation to mean time of a certain meridian which generally passes through it greenwich mean time the time at 0 degree longitude is called greenwich mean time it is based on local time of the meridian passing through greenwich near london so our indian standard time ist it is fixed on the mean of 82 and 1/2 degree east meridian a place near allahabad It is five and half hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. By using these imaginary lines of latitudes and longitudes, how we we'll locate our India? The country India is situated north of the equator between eight degree four north to thirty seven degree six north latitude. and 68 degree 7 east to 97 degree 25 east longitude